Falcon Stadium, built into Rampart Range, is one of the most picturesque scenes in all of college football and the site for our matchup. And now let's head down to the coin toss and is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Gets to about the 24-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. gets rid of this one. It's second and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. Call it a gain of eight yards. That'll bring up 32. back and they push him out around the 39 yard line they'll pick up a first down with that run from the halfback he got seven but it looked like for a second he could have broken it for even more good call first and ten ball on their own 39 throws to the receiver incomplete he'll learn he doesn't always need to use his cannon sometimes precision is more important than power Open field, brought down around the 48-yard line. Number 23 with the tackle at the 48-yard line. And here's another third down. Decent run here, right side. And he stopped behind the line. That took a little too long to develop. And the offense was trying to get the pass rush going upfield, but the defense did a nice job of sniffing out the draw play and hitting him in the backfield. From the 49-yard line, it's second down. He gets rid of this one. It's the ninth play of the drive. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Trying to change the field position with this kick. Oh, excellent punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We played one. Still no score. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Passes it to the middle of the field. He's tackled at the 35. It's a great play fake here, and it freezes the linebacker for just a couple of seconds. And that's enough time to connect on the throw. their own 35-yard line. 
First down. Nearly intercepted. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. That makes it second and ten. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Once it all, going deep. And it's caught. The 10. Touchdown! Kirk, that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly. And again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. It was a pretty simple route, but they run it to perfection for the score. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 79-yard drive, and they put up seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after a touchdown, after a touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. He'll return it from the six. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And they make the stop at about the 37-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he's tackled at about the 45. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. He launches one for the end zone. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. From the 45-yard line, second down. Your first down. Boy, when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains, you got a big time advantage over any defense. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. That's a three yard pickup. Doesn't look like this defense is going to let them beat them with the deep passes. So they'll allow those short completions to the tight end. Flags are all over the place and they'll blow it dead. Start. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 35-yard line. Rifles this one out to the left. And this one's broken up. Brett, I noticed during practice this week that this linebacker may be a wide receiver or running back at heart. He's messing around during practice with some of the offensive skill players. Really, it pays off for him here as he's able to show enough instincts there to be able to knock that ball away. Quick throw. They'll bring him down at the 19. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. Quick throw, and down he goes around the nine-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here will be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They 
might just want to squib this one. Only a few seconds left here before halftime. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 26. For the last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. So at the end of the half, we get a tie game at 7-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it's it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast paced up tempo scoring points galore it's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball david and i will stay locked in on everything going on in college football it's going to wrap it up here in the studio just about time to get you out to your second half brad and kirk ready with a call welcome back everybody second half action about to begin he really got a hold of that kick He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Pitches it. He's got the corner. He's to the 40. Across midfield. At the 30. And they finally knock him out at the 22. So we've got a first down after a great running play. And he is drilled at the 13. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Gets to about the 14-yard line. When you get in these third down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. Air Force could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and it is good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the 2. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. They'll drop him for a loss. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 22-yard line. And he 
throws it away. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Tackle made at the 30-yard line. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. And folks, it's neck and neck as we head to the final quarter of play. 10-7, Air Force. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Makes it out to about the 39. What a critical first down as time ticks away. Huge, huge first down. The defense desperately needed a stop there. Just under two to go in the game. And they get nice yardage on that run. The Huskies use their second timeout. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 43. About the 47 yard line. You know, the defense knew that this offense was trying to work the clock. When you want to work the clock, you're going to run the football. It puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line to get low and drive that defensive line back. And that's what they were able to do there to give the running back enough room to pick up that first down. From the 33 yard line, first down. He gets out to about the 25 yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. It's final, a close one to the very end. 10-7, Air Force. The Huskies. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.